Hey guys, I'm a math person. Today I'll be going over question 190 on SL exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you, you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they're saying a random refrigerator has a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 3 years. And they're saying if you pick a random refrigerator, okay, so I'm going to call fridge 1x. This is fridge 1. <laughs> y is fridge 2. And then Z is fridge 3. So if I randomly pick two of these, so let's say I pick X and Y, what is the probability that these two combine will be greater than the third fridge, Z, by 1.9 times? That's what it's saying. And because we know this is a normal distribution, we can just put everything to the one side. X plus Y minus 1.9 Z is greater than 0. I'm going to assign a new variable called X star. I don't know, I always like doing x star for some odd reason. So this is equal to x plus y plus minus 1.9z. Alright, so the, what is the probability that x star is greater than 0? So that's what we're looking for. If we know, so what is the mean of x star? Well, this is equal to mean of x, which is just 10, mean of y, which is just 10, and uh, mean of z, which is just 10 as well. One. And how about the standard deviation? All right, so then we know the standard deviation is three. So we know, and also we have, to, when we calculate standard deviation for multiple events, we have to make sure to bring it back to variance. So that's going to be three squared plus three squared. Because of the way this formula is, you have to think of the 1.9 as plus negative 1.9, because negative 1.9 is just constant, squared times three squared. So this is approximately equal to 7.1056. <laughs> I always go try to make sure I use four decimals just in case. So we have everything we need to normalize this sucker out. So x star minus mean of x star divided by the standard deviation of x star is greater than zero minus the mean, which is we found was one. Standard deviation, which we found to be 7.1056, right? And then this is exactly just the definition of z. So this is z is greater than negative 0 0.1407. So this is asking, so if this is like negative 1.7, 1.47, not John's scale, what is the probability that z is greater? So we're looking for this value right here. On the exam, you're going to get the positive z value. So we're going to look at the z value where z is here. And they're going to give you a CDF. So they're going to give you exactly this, which is what we were looking for. So they're equivalent. So let's pull up our z table. So we're looking for 0 0.147, 0 0.14, let's go 0 0.14, that's 0 0.557, 0 0.5557, 0 0.5557, that's pretty close to 0 0.556, so that's our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!